Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Hope you are okay on that side of the screen. And today we are going to go a bit back in time. We are going to revise what are power line adapters and how do we connect them because this is a question that i still have on the channel i've done a video in the past six years ago with this topic and i think it's time to renew it now if you also need to renew your windows 10 key or windows 11 key or even office 2021 don't forget to check out the link that i will leave on the video description for the cdkeysales.com where we will find budget keys for windows 10 11 or office we have tested the platform we have purchased and we have activated successfully without any issues whatsoever this package that i've got right over here this is the devolu magic 2 wi-fi 6 and if you follow the channel for quite some time you know that i do use power lines since I was a kid when my father did not allow me to put some holes on my walls to pass a RG45 cable, Ethernet cable to have on my bedroom. So my solution back then was to get some power line adapters, not as advanced as these are today. Wi-Fi 6 would have been great those days. And since then, I've been using power line adapters in different scenarios. Now, first of all, I would like to mention that these right over here are the latest from the Volo. These are the Magic 2 Wi-Fi 6. And if I compare them with the predecessor model that we have tested here on the channel, Actually, I will leave a link right over here on the YouTube cards and also on the video description with a playlist with all the tests that we have done in terms of power line adapters. And we have tested in apartments, we have tested in villa with three floors, which we passed through the circuit breakers. In this particular case, six circuit breakers that I've got here. So you will have all those tests available to, to share. In terms of comparison, these right over here, what I can achieve is in terms of speeds, I've been getting really great speeds, but there is a slight change uh, for more. My internet speed is 500 megabits per second on download and 100 on upload, and I'm reaching roughly 400, 430 on Wi-Fi, which is really, really awesome. But the main difference that I see right over here with Wi-Fi 6 is that the coverage is bigger than we had on the predecessor. So that being said, for those that are looking to what is a power line adapter, the simplest example that I can give is if you have an Ethernet cable coming out of your router, imagine if you could pass that cable through any socket on your house and then on the other end, on any other socket, you could just plug in a Ethernet cable and that Ethernet cable would connect to any device that you want. And besides that, the Ethernet cable would have Wi-Fi signal. So this is the way that I see power line adapters. How do we connect them? The easiest way to explain is we all have a router from our internet operator and that router usually has wi-fi signal which is limited depending on the model and depending on the brand but it's limited and it also has ethernet connections so i will plug in a cable to one of those ethernet connections on the router and that cable i will connect to this first power line adapter right over here which is a receiver and i will plug this to the socket now at the moment that i plug this at the socket this means that i will inject in my electrical grid the internet signal this is just beautiful imagine your house when you inject this you will have internet signal on all your electrical outlets and we have a lot of sockets electrical sockets on our house now this is the first step the second step is to put a second device on any other socket of our home where we want to expand our Wi-Fi. And when I plug in this on the other room that I want on the other floor, what happens is that it will grab the signal that this device is transmitting on the electrical grid and it will transcode that signal back to Ethernet, which will emit Wi-Fi signal, in this particular case Wi-Fi 6, so it's a strong signal, and also Ethernet, because this model in particular has two Ethernet ports right over here, which I can connect to a smart TV or a set-top box or something like that. So this is the beauty of it. And if I decide to, tomorrow, remove it from here and put it on another socket, 
than just grit. Now, there is one limitation in this technology across all brands, which is our own electrical installation. So my advice to everyone when is installing Powerline adapters is that once you try one of your sockets, you will do some tests with your phone, with your tablet, with your computer. And if you have great results, then great. And if you are curious like myself, then probably you're going to take out of this socket and try on this one to just compare it and see if it's better or if it's worse. But if you have not so good results, then my suggestion is try on another socket and on another one to see which is the socket that will give you the best result because the technology is great but there are no miracles on our home electrical installation and there is the only limitation of this technology which is beautiful in my opinion but basically this is the easiest way to explain at least at this moment in my mind how these things are connected and how they work and the way that i see is that this is just a big cable that we don't see. It's an invisible cable right over here that will take internet signal from one room and then put it on the electrical grid and make it work on any other room, giving a boost of our signal. So we will not be limited to the router that we have from our internet company. Now, there are several ways to configure these. One of the most common ways is to copy the SSID of our router and then we only have one network this one in particular has mesh capabilities that we also have tested here on the channel and what happens is that i can take my mobile phone which i don't have right now and if i have this one here on the ground floor and this one on the third floor for example and if i'm connected to this one then i go upstairs and it will connect directly to this one without changing the network name and without changing anything this is the beauty of mesh but we can also configure them as individual they will communicate with this one right over here but i can call the ssid for this one for room number one and this room number two and in this particular case there will be no mesh there will be two individual ssids for each wi-fi signal that we have but this is the technology allowing us to do whatever we want and that is one of the great things so although it has mesh capabilities if i don't want to use mesh then i don't that being said hope that this video was helpful in some way and if it was don't forget the usual thumbs up right over there which is really appreciated on this side of the screen my name is roberto george and as always i'll see you guys on the next one